Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Noelia, and please take a second to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video. Now, as you guys can see from the title, I am gonna bring you guys along with me to get ready for a Friendsgiving that I'm going to today. So I figured I might as well just film the whole thing and you guys could be a part of it. I wish I could do this live so you guys can kind of watch me <laughs> and my struggles of getting ready. But I am gonna hop in the shower, which is why my hair looks like this. I was gonna go ahead and wash my hair, but thank God, the look that I'm going for, I'm gonna be wearing like a sweater dress. And you know, I know that I've seen it online where a lot of people say that curly hair doesn't, like leaving your curly hair out for certain looks don't always work. And I 100% agree with that, because sometimes your curls look so, like not that it's too much, but they just look like they're taking up the outfit. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in the in the sense where sometimes it's better to just slick it back in a ponytail or put it in a cute bun or something like that because I feel like the look ends up looking more, you know? As long as your curls are a part of the look, it's still gonna be a part of the look. I'm not saying in any way, shape, or form to go straight in your hair, but there are certain looks that look better with like an updo or a ponytail or something like that. So this sweater dress actually looks better with like a bun or something that has my hair not all out. I am gonna have my pieces in the front. My bangs are getting really long, so I don't know how it's gonna work out, but we could try it. Um, I'm gonna do like a bun with the pieces in the front. So as you guys can see, my curls still look really good. So I'm not gonna wash them because I just, no. And I also don't like the idea of having to wash my hair just to put it in a bun, because I just think that's kind of pointless. So since my hair's not super dirty, I last washed it for when I came back from Puerto Rico, which was Tuesday. Today is Saturday, so tomorrow will be wash day for me for sure, but I mean, even if I wanted to prolong it, like my curls still look really good, so I'm going to go ahead and hop in the shower, and then I will do my makeup, we'll do our hair, show you guys my outfit, and all of that, so BRB. I'm actually going to share with you guys some um, body care products that I just purchased, and my thoughts on them. I'm going to try them for the second time today, and I will let you guys know what my thoughts are, and yeah, so I'm going to test that out, because my first impression wasn't like... <gasps> But we'll give them another shot today with a different mindset and we'll see how that goes. So if you guys are interested in following me to get ready for my friend's giving, I'm not hosting it, but I'm a part of it. Keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so I just hopped out of the shower and I want to show you guys what my hair looks like out. So it doesn't look that bad, but like I said, I'm not going to actually wear it out. I'm going to be putting it up in a bun. But before we get into that, I do want to talk about some body care products that everyone has been raving about so I decided to purchase them during the Sephora sale. So while I was in Puerto Rico I actually saw that they had the Necessaire, um, the body care products. They have, they only had the lotion and the body wash. So I've been seeing these all over Instagram, literally everywhere. Everyone and their mother is using these products. So I was like, you know what, let me grab them myself. Each one I believe cost $25. If I'm not mistaken, I will definitely correct that if I'm wrong. But I know at least one of them costs $25. I don't remember how much the other one costs. So I figured the best time to get them would be during the sale. So here are my thoughts. I've actually used it three times already. This is how much has been used. So it's not much, but it comes with 8.4 fluid ounces and it's a very like liquidy formula. So if I'm being totally honest, it's okay. Like it's not anything out of this world. The good thing about it is that it's very clean. So if you're looking for clean body care products, this is an option, but for, for $25, I don't know. And it says it has eucalyptus. It does have like a little touch of eucalyptus, but anybody who knows me, hold on, let me put my camera down a little lower. I feel like it's a little too high. So anyone who knows me knows like, if it's gonna have eucalyptus, I wanna like really feel it. And honestly, I don't know if I'm just being really picky, but it doesn't seem like it's anything out of this world, to be totally honest with you. I feel like it's not bad. Like it's not like you try it and you're like, ugh. It's just like, oh. Okay, but $25? I don't know about all that. So, yeah, I don't know if I would be, I most likely, actually, I know I won't be repurchasing these products. I did want to try the Ritual, the Body Ritual, which has all their products in, like, miniature size. And I think, as far as miniature, it was, like, 3.4 ounces, which is not bad. And I know that they have, like, a body serum and a exfoliator. So I think those two I may try, only because I love a good body exfoliator, like a good scrub. And I've never used a body serum, so maybe the serum is really where it's at, but I got the body lotion. <clears throat> it's really nothing serious. It's really nothing serious. Like, I just put it on my body. Just like any regular... Oh, by the way, I have like a little tan line. 
from the beach and my Apple Watch, so I look hella ghetto. So the body lotion is just like any other lotion. It's just like a fragrance-free lotion. It doesn't feel like anything out of this world, if I'm being totally honest. Like, it just doesn't feel... I don't know. I don't know what the rave is about. I'm trying to figure that out. So maybe the exfoliator and the serum are better? I don't know. That's all I just wanted to pop in and talk about that. Have you guys tried these products? Are you guys obsessed? Is there something I'm doing wrong? Like, I don't understand. I really don't. So... I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and get into the rest of our routine. So again, I just showered, used the body care. My body feels really soft, not gonna lie, but I mean, $25? Oh no. So anyways, like I said, I'm gonna be doing like an updo bun and I'm gonna let these pieces out in the front. I'm gonna make sure I leave enough pieces out. So what I'm gonna do is actually take them out now and then set the rest of my hair away from my face. I'll probably do like this much. This looks like a good amount. And then I put the rest of my hair out of my face. Take too much. I just probably should be back here. I don't have any particular like order when it comes to this because it just becomes like a messy bun. So I don't really make it a big deal. So I'm going to just go ahead and twist these pieces in the front. Don't worry, this is not obvious because when it's curly, it kind of just clumps together. Use a little ponytail just to keep it in place even though it stayed in place perfectly fine. Cool. We're good, so we're gonna go ahead and start the bun. And it's pretty much just gonna put it up here and then we're gonna just refresh this, diffuse that, and then start doing our makeup. Okay, so I can't find my spray bottle, so I just went ahead and wet the perimeter of my hair. This is normally what I do to start. All you're gonna need is the gel that I use in this wash and go, which is the Wetline Extreme Gel, and I'm gonna use my boar bristle brush to sleek my hair. Let me just find out why I can't open this. I'm gonna go ahead and just add gel to the top and to the bottom. I'm gonna let this go and we're just gonna go ahead and slick lightly slick the hair in the front it doesn't have to be like super sleek I don't know why I keep saying slick it's sleek we're gonna sleek our hair make sure that it just looks more put together should I just use this hair tie let's see all right so we're gonna go ahead and attempt the bun. Sometimes I redo and undo the bun multiple times. So let's try it. Okay. This is the first attempt. Not too bad. Let me look in the mirror and see if it's up to par. I like to let some curl, curly pieces out. I'm going to refresh those pieces too once I let this one out. Let them just, you know, do their thing. I want to make the bun a little round. Yeah, I might just keep it like this. Let me look at what it would look like with the pieces. I feel like that's a good length. Ooh, the side, if we did like a side part with it, that could be cute. We're gonna refresh this and we're not gonna just leave it like this. But maybe I never thought about that, like doing like a side part. Like a hypothetical, oop. Doing like a hypothetical side part. That could be cute, we might have to play with that. But yeah, so this is cute. Let me go ahead and just like sleek every corner of this bun and then we're gonna come back and refresh this okay. so i had to go ahead and wet this piece look how long my front pieces are i literally had bangs like this no joke like three years ago and this is crazy so i went ahead and wet it with the sink of course because i can't find my spray bottle but it's all good in the hood so now that this is all wet we're gonna go in with the wetline extreme gel and just do our thing Once that's all set, and once I feel like my curls look defined, 
I know it looks crazy right now, but when I diffuse them, they're definitely gonna shrink up a lot more. And I decided to do this before my makeup because, you know, it's all wet and there's gel everywhere. I'd rather do that now before, you know, having my face speed up. So, <clears throat> this is what the front is looking like. We love some good clumps. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab my diffuser and then we'll diffuse this section. Add oil, all the things, BRB. Okay, you guys, so I just diffused the front pieces and look how cute this look is. I love this look. I don't do it more often because I'm always constantly washing my hair for videos and stuff, but whenever I was like in a time crunch and I had somewhere to go, I'd always just do this look because it's cute. It looks put together even though you put little to no effort to it. I mean, then of course I'm gonna put some earrings on. It's gonna make it look a little bit more, you know? So now we're gonna do our makeup. I'm gonna put this away, Use some pins, and just pin them back. Perfect, so now we have a fresh canvas. We could can start our makeup. So I'm actually going to use a new foundation today. I'm actually gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm nervous because I just got it yesterday and I haven't tried it and I feel like today would be a good day to try it to see how like it is as far as being super oily and if it like works on my face because my face is very oily so products don't typically foundations have I have a hard time with foundations so I'm hoping that this is the perfect you know for oily skin because a lot of people have said amazing things so I'm gonna go grab it and then we're gonna start our makeup and all that I already prepped my skin as you guys can see, I do have a little bit of blemish areas, like some acne down here. You guys think my skin is perfect. It is not. So, these areas are breaking out. And we're going to cover it up. No worries. The foundation color I chose was the 3W 1.5 Fawn. This is what it looks like, the packaging. I did a like Sephora quiz to see which one would likely match based on previous foundations I've used. I did quickly test it in the store too, so hopefully this is it. This is what it looks like. I believe this costs, I don't even remember because I did use a $10 off coupon I had. I think it came out to like 30 something, so I think it's like around the $40 range, $45 range. So what I don't like is that it doesn't have a pump, like that's very old school. So I don't like that too, too much. We are gonna be using the milk primer. It actually broke on me, so I gotta use a Q-tip. But what I do, it's broken. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Since the tip broke off, I like to use a Q-tip to pick up products. It's kind of ratchet, but product is not going to waste. I love this stuff. Okay. Perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I need to lift my sleeves up because I'm wearing white. I'm gonna add some to my hand, the back of my hand, and I'm gonna be using a brush. I'm gonna be using the Morphe M439. This is like my favorite brush at the moment. I'm not gonna make this like a whole makeup routine. Ooh, that's a lot. We'll just start with that. Oh, okay. We'll start with that much. See, I don't like that because I'm just gonna start getting anywhere. Let me put that on my face so it doesn't go to waste. Okay, so this is what it looks like with just one swipe of whatever was left. So, I don't even know what I was saying before. But we're gonna go ahead and apply this. Oh, I'm not gonna make this like a full makeup video. I'm gonna speed up through the makeup portion because I will make a video solely on this. So far it looks really good on camera. I gotta see how it looks in front of a mirror. So let me go ahead and blend this out. Let me just show you what it looks like. Just with solely brushing it into my skin. It's not too too bad let me go ahead and apply it to the rest of my face and then I'll show you guys what it looks like so this is what one layer I like to go in with my sponge just to like really blend it out after but this is what one layer looks like the lighting is definitely a little off but I feel like it matches pretty well for the most part it might be a little light but it's not too bad and it matches with my neck I was thinking about adding a little more I think I might leave it like that because I don't know. I want to make it a little bit more full coverage in certain areas. So I might pick some up actually. 
not for the whole face, but for certain areas, especially the my problematic areas at the moment. Someone needs to let me know if this product has a pump option. Like, can we buy a pump? Because I will definitely buy the pump. I can't see myself pouring out this product every single time. That's a little much. So I'm gonna add some more to this area. Oh, that was a little much. Oh my god, I'm doing too much. Oh crap. Okay, so the foundation is fully on my face. And I do feel like it has a lot of coverage, which we love to see. It might be a little too light, but once I add the bronzer and everything, I think it'll like sit nicely. And maybe once it oxidizes on my face, it'll just like, you know? But I think it was a pretty good choice. But I did get a little sun in Puerto Rico, so I do know that maybe that could be it. Why I look a little pale. But we're gonna go in with some concealer nonetheless. I'm gonna use the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. It's in the color Custard. I'm just gonna add some to the inner corners of my eye. I like to add to my chin and my forehead. Nothing too crazy, just to brighten up a little bit. I'm gonna blend this out and set it. And I'm actually gonna finish up my face because I feel like it might take too long. I don't wanna make this video like super duper long. I'm gonna make a blend on here. It's better to look in a mirror. I'll blend and set and then bronze and then I, I'll come to you guys once I put my lip combo on, which, yeah, we'll do that. Let me go ahead and speed this up. Okay, you guys, so my makeup is pretty much done. I just did my skin, my brows. I still gotta do my lips. So I'm actually gonna, where did I put the setting spray? Here it is. So it's from Ofra Cosmetics. It's their Rose Makeup Fixer. We're gonna test this out. Is it gonna focus? Yeah, I actually got this sent to me. And we're gonna test it out. Stay in place, makeup. We don't got time to play these games. Skin looks really good. I can definitely let these out already before it starts to create like a weird crease and frizz. Oh, cute. It's definitely gonna give me a little extra like volume because I, un I didn't even plan that, but it's a good idea. Give me a little bit more volume. So cute. I definitely have to do a lip. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my lip. I might just use a brown liner and some gloss and call it a day, but we love this so far. Okay, so my camera died when I was showing you guys my face, but this is what my skin is looking like. Of course, I'm not gonna put anything on my eyes because I do have lash extensions, so I don't typically use eye makeup unless I don't have them, and I feel like lash extensions kind of make the look. It makes it a little bit more casual versus if I was to wear eyelash extensions, they would have been more like pew. So, we're going to do a brown liner, I think. Definitely have to sharpen it. But maybe we can get away with it before. So we're going to do... This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. This pencil's so old. It's in the color Endless Cacao. Not anything crazy. I'm going to line my lips. Once the lips are lined, they look a little weird, I'm going to go in with a gloss. This is the Yummy Yummy from Juvia's Place. It's a collaboration that I definitely loved. Look how pretty this gloss is. And yeah, that's pretty much the look. Yeah, so that's pretty much the look. This is just makeup and hair. And I still got to put my earrings on. Gotta get cute. This was kind of fun to do a little get ready with me. I know it wasn't like a full like makeup makeup look, so I will do more of an in-depth video. I've done makeup videos here and y'all don't pay much attention to it, so I'm gonna need you guys to comment down below and let me know if you want like a full in-depth makeup video. I'll keep creating them, even if some of you don't watch, because I mean, I actually enjoy them. So, but my makeup routines are never typically like too exciting they're very simple like this is pretty much 
what I would do if I'm going somewhere. I'd add some lashes and maybe some shadow, but I don't do like fun, crazy shadow colors. Even though I have palettes for days, I'm one of those. So maybe I should get more involved in that because I have so much makeup that I don't use, but we'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and change, show you guys the fit, and yeah, then we're gonna get ready to go, so. BRB. Okay guys, so I'm ready. I'm trying to see how I could show you guys the whole fit. I don't know if I could even show it to you guys. I say I don't know why I'm filming in my bathroom because had I just filmed in my room, it would be so much easier, but it's all good. This is the look. Very cozy vibes. So yeah, so I'm all set. I'm gonna go ahead and obviously head over there. I will show you guys what my makeup looks like at the end of the night, but I am going to close out this video just in case I don't come back and show you my makeup. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss another video. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.